the Lord. You are warmly welcome tonight to our house fellowship program. Right there where you are, let's close our eyes as we pray. Eternal Rock of Ages, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the end, the one that was and is and forever will be. Father, we thank you. Thank you for all that you have been doing in our series of teachings in our fellowship. Father, thank you for not just making us a hearer of your word, but a doer of it. Father, accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. Tonight, O oh Lord, open our understanding. Teach us from your throne of grace. Let the Holy Spirit, the Comforter, whom you have given unto us, begin to manifest his power in our life. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Holy Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Right there where you are, I want you to sing this song with me loud and clear. Holy Spirit, move me now. Hallelujah, make my life whole again. Oh, yes, yeah. Spirit, move over me. Spirit, move over me. Let thy Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, move me now. tonight into your hand as we pray these seven prayers let your spirit your power and your anointing rest upon us in Jesus name we pray say oh God arise create in me a new heart and renew the Holy Spirit in me in the name of Jesus oh God arise create in me a new heart renew your Holy Spirit in me in Jesus name we pray say oh God arise Ignite my life afresh with the Holy Ghost fire in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise! Ignite my life afresh with the Holy Ghost fire in Jesus. Then we pray. Say any power assigned to quench the fire of God in me, die by fire in the name of Jesus. Any power assigned to quench the fire of God in me, release me and die in Jesus. Then we pray. Say Holy Ghost fire. Overshadow my life afresh in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost fire. Overshadow my life afresh in Jesus. Now we pray. Say, Revival fire of God. My life is available. Enter right now in the name of Jesus. Revival fire of God. My life is available. Enter in the name of Jesus. Revival fire of God. My life is available. Enter right now. In Jesus, now we pray. Say, fire of God that cannot be insulted, come upon my life. In the name of Jesus, fire of God that cannot be insulted, come upon my life. In Jesus, now we pray. Say, I soak my spirit, soul, and body into the pool of the blood of Jesus. I surround myself with the fire of God. In the name of Jesus, I soak my body, soul, and spirit. To the pool of the blood of Jesus, I surround myself uh, with the fire of God uh, in Jesus. Mighty name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. We put the seal of the blood of Jesus Christ upon that prayer. There shall be spirit performance, and the name of Jesus shall be glorified. Thank you, Holy Father, for in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. 
right there where you are, beloved. In our series of teachings, Holy Spirit and you. Tonight, we are looking at Holy Spirit, the Comforter. Holy Spirit, the Comforter. That's what we are looking at tonight. Beloved, our memory verse is taken from 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 3. Say, Blessed be God, even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies, and the God of all comforts. Beloved, our text is taken from 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 3 to 7. 2 Corinthians 1, 3 to 7. Say, Blessed be God, even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies, and the God of all comfort, who comforted us in all our tribulations, that we may be able to comfort them which are in any trouble by the comfort wherewith we ourselves are comforted of God. We are comforted of God, then we have to comfort others. Verse 5, For as the suffering of Christ abound in us, so our consolation also abounded by Christ. And whether we be afflicted, it is for your consolation and salvation, which is effectual in the enduring of the same suffering, which we also suffer, or whether we be comforted, it is for your consolation and salvation. Look at verse 7. And our hope of you is steadfast, knowing that as ye are partakers of the sufferings, so shall ye be also of the consolation. Praise the Lord. Galatians chapter 5, 22 to 23. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such, there is no law. John chapter 14, 14 to 18. Say, if ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. I will do it. Uh -huh. Say, if ye love me, keep my commandments, and I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter. That is Jesus speaking. That he may abide with you forever. Even the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seemeth him not, neither knoweth him, but ye know him, for he dwelleth with you, and shall be in you. I will not leave you comfortless, I will come unto you. Praise the Lord. Look at verse 25. Let's see verse 26 to 27. Say, these things from verse 25. These things have I spoken unto you, being yet present with you. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things, and bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have said unto you. Verse 27. Say, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you, not as the world giveth, give I unto you, let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Praise the Lord. Beloved people of God, the devil is against the living Christ, and he wants to destroy him. If you are filled with the living Christ, the devil is eager to get you out of the way in order to destroy Christ's power in you. But he cannot get near you because Christ was not defeated. We may go through some tests. The Lord knows how to deliver the godly out of temptations. Look at Second Peter. Aha. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Second Peter chapter 2, verse 9. There is hour of trial, beloved. There is hour of deprivation. There is hour of affliction. There is hour of tribulation. There is hour of disappointment. Hour of sickness. Hour of dissolution. 
hour of trouble and suffering. But in every situation, the glory of God rises and the consolation comes from the comforter who sustains and brings us out from the glory for the glory of God. Praise the Lord. Look at 2 Corinthians 4 7. Say, but we have the, these treasures in earthly vessel, that the excellency of the power may be in God and not in of us. And not of us. Say, for our light affliction, which is but for a moment, is working for us a far more exceedingly and eternal weight of glory. So if God be for us, who can be against us? Romans chapter 8. Verse 31, say, For what shall we then say unto these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? Praise the Lord. What more do we meet to these things? Last days, when perilous time is upon us, and the devil is raging, distributing all forms of evil, than to be baptized by the Holy Spirit, the Comforter, who comforts us in all our tribulations that we may be able to comfort those who are in any trouble with which we ourselves are comforted by God. 2 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 4 says, Who comforted us in all our tribulations, that we may be able to comfort them which are in any trouble by the comfort we are with, we ourselves are comforted of God. Praise the Lord. Now the question is, who is the comforter? Who is the comforter? The comforter is the Holy Ghost, the messenger of the Father. According to John chapter 14, verse 26, says, But the comforter which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things, and bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have said unto you. Praise the Lord. So, it's a teacher of all things. The spirit of divine wisdom, knowledge and understanding, the prince of peace, the spirit of truth and guidance. John chapter 14 verse 17. Say, even the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seems not. Neither know him, but ye know him, for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. Praise the Lord. Big enough to fill the whole universe and small enough to dwell in our hearts. The spirit of excellence, the spirit of love, the spirit of joy, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, meekness, temperance and faith is the deliverer of the spirit of our Lord Jesus Christ. He is an advocate, a helper, and a consoler. Beloved, is a counselor. Facts to remember, beloved. Facts to remember. Number one, you can never experience the Holy Spirit, the Comforter, until you prepare a place for Him in your heart. You must prepare a place. You must prepare a, 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 a vacuum that is swept, garnished, for the Holy Spirit to rest in there. Number two, facts to remember. Always remember our end is God's beginning. Our end is God's beginning. When you try everything and you cannot really help yourself, uh -huh, it is that point that the Lord will now come in. Praise the Lord. Number two, fact to remember. All, number three, always we may enter into things that will bring us sorrow and trouble. But through them, God will bring us to a deeper knowledge of himself. Mostly, the reason why some of us enter into problems and troubles is for God to bring us deeper into the knowledge of himself. He began to reveal himself to us. Number four fact to remember, when the trial is on, when everything comes to a point of hopelessness, then the mighty God will bring you into a land of plenty. Listen, beloved. Number four fact to remember. When the trial is on, 
when everything comes to a point of hopelessness, then the mighty God will bring you into a land of plenty. I want you to understand this very, very well. Fact number five, there is nothing strong in the devil. The weakest believer dethrones the enemy. When he mentions the name of Jesus, the comforter. Fact number six to remember. The enemies enjoy your crying and suffering as long as you refuse to come to Jesus. Because that is where your salvation lies. Seven, number 17 to remember is that God does not honor unbelief. God honors faith. And the end of all real faith always is rejoicing. Praise the Lord. Look at the faith of the three Hebrew men. It rejoiced. It ended up in rejoicing. Eight. Fact number eight to remember. A man may be saved for many years without knowing much about persecution. But it is impossible to be baptized with the Holy Spirit without entering into persecution. According to Acts, the book of Acts, chapter 5, 17 to 18. Here the apostles were arrested and freed. Then the high priest rose up, and all they that were with him, which is the set of the Sadducees, and were with the indignation, and laid their hands on the apostles, and put them in the common prison. They laid their hands on the apostles, and put them in common prison. There the Holy Spirit proved himself in their life as the comforter. Praise the Lord. I pray that the Holy Spirit will prove himself as a comforter in your life in the name of Jesus. Right there where you are, beloved. Let's go into the attributes of the, Holy, of the comforter. The attributes of the comforter, the Holy Spirit. Number one, the comforter reproves the world of sin, of righteousness and judgment. John chapter 16, verse 17 to 13. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is expedient for you that I go away, for if I go not away, the Comforter will not come unto you. But if I depart, I will send him unto you. That is Jesus talking. And when he is come, he will reprove the word of sin and of righteousness and of judgment of sin because... They believe not on him. Verse 10. Of righteousness because I go to my father and ye see me no more. Of judgment because the prince of this world is judged. I have yet many things to say unto you, but ye cannot bear them now. Albeit when he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak. And he will show you things to come. Praise the name of the Lord. Attribute of the Comforter. Number two. The Comforter comes from the Father. He testifies and speaks the truth. John chapter 15 verse 26. Say, but when the Comforter is come, oh my way send unto you from the Father, even the Spirit of truth, which proceeded from the Father, he shall testify of me. Praise the Lord. Number three attributes of the comforter. It gives you joy. It gives you joy. Romans chapter 14, verse 17. Say, for the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness and peace and joy of the Holy Ghost. Joy in the Holy Ghost. Psalm 45, verse 7 says, Thou loveth righteousness and hated wickedness. Therefore, God, thy God, and anointed thee with the oil of gladness above thy fellows. Number four attributes of the comforter. Comforter is he comforts the church. The comforter comforts the church. Acts chapter 9, verse 31. Then at the churches rest throughout all Judea and Galilee and Samaria and were edified and walking in the fear of the Lord. 
and in the comfort of the Holy Ghost were multiplied. Praise the Lord. So Holy Spirit comforts the church. Number five attributes of the comforter is supports. Is supports. Luke chapter 4, verse 1. And Jesus being full of the Holy Ghost, returned from Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the wilderness. Number six, it brings miracles. Seven, attributes of the comforter. It delivers completely. Matthew 12, 28. But if I cast out devils by the Spirit of God, then the kingdom of God is common to you. Holy Spirit, the comforter, delivers completely. Eight, it gives peace. Nine, it helps our infirmities. Romans chapter 8, verse 26. Say, likewise, the Spirit also helps our infirmities. For we know not what we should pray for as we ought. But the Spirit itself make an intercession for us, groaning with which cannot be altered. Praise the Lord. Number 10 attributes of the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit releases God's promise into our lives. Number 11 attributes of the Holy Spirit. It renews many things in our life. Holy Spirit renews many things in our life. Isaiah 32, 15. Until the Spirit be poured upon us from on high, and the wilderness a fruitful field, and the fruitful field be counted for a forest. Number 12, attributes of the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit causes divine creation. Job 33, 4. Say, the Spirit of God had made me, and the breath of the Almighty had given me life. Number 13, attributes of the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit gives life. The same in Job 33, 4. The Spirit of God had made me, and the breath of the Almighty had given me life. Number 14 attributes of the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit speaks solution to problems. Holy Spirit speaks solutions to problems. Praise the Lord. Number 15 attributes of the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit raises our hope. Galatians chapter 5 verse 5 says, For we through the Spirit wait for the hope of righteousness by faith. Beloved people of God, this is where we will stop tonight and we continue next time. Praise the name of the Lord. Right there where you are, you are joining us in this program and you are not born again. You have not just surrendered your life to Jesus. Just lay your hand on your chest and say this after me. Say, Father, I come before you today. I know that I'm a sinner. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. From tonight, I renounce Satan and his devil. I enter into the kingdom of light. Write my name in the book of life and put the devil to shame. Thank you, Holy Father. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Right there where you are tonight, we want to go straight into our intercessory prayers. And I want you to know that God loves intercessors. As you are interceding for others, God will raise intercessors for you too. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Our first level of intercessory prayer is prayer for the world. But before we do that, Acts chapter 2 verse 21 says, It shall come to pass. That whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. First session of prayers is prayer for the world. First John chapter 5, verse 19. And we know that you are God and the whole world light in wickedness. So oh God arise, have mercy upon the citizens of the world. In the name of Jesus, O oh God arise, have mercy upon the citizens of the world. In the name of Jesus, O oh God arise, have mercy. Of our citizens of the world in Jesus. Now we we'll pray. Say, let the wickedness of the wicked in this world expire in the name of Jesus. Let the wickedness of the wicked in this world expire in Jesus. Now we we'll pray. Say, dragon of darkness from the east, spreading sorrow, tragedy and evil cry to the entire world, fall down and die in the name of Jesus. Dragon of darkness on the east, spreading sorrow, 
Try to the animal cry to the entire world. Fall down and die in the name of Jesus. Dragon of darkness on the east, spreading sorrow. Try to the animal cry to the entire world. Fall down and die in Jesus. Then we we'll pray. Our next session of prayers is prayer for the world leaders. Jeremiah 1 10. See, at this day, send you over the nations, over the kingdoms, to root out, to pull down, to destroy, to throw down, to build, and to plant. 1 Timothy chapter 2, 1 to 2. I exhort therefore that first of all supplications, prayers, intercession, and giving of thanks be made for all men, for kings, and for all that are in authority, that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and honesty. We pray for mercy and forgiveness. For any conscious and unconscious sin, on behalf of the world leaders, in the name of Jesus, we pray for mercy and forgiveness. For any conscious and unconscious sin, on behalf of the world leaders, in the name of Jesus, we pray for mercy and forgiveness. For any conscious and unconscious sin, on behalf of the world leaders, in Jesus, name we pray. We cover the sins committed by world leaders in the precious blood of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we cover the sins committed by world leaders. With the precious blood of Jesus, in Jesus, then we pray. So God arise, give the world leaders fresh vision that to improve and move the world forward. In the name of Jesus, oh God arise, give the world leaders fresh vision that to improve and move the world forward. In Jesus, then we pray. Our next session of prayers is prayer for Qatar or any other country where you reside in the world. Jeremiah twenty nine seven. And see the peace of the city, where they have caused you to be carried away captive, and pray unto the Lord for it, for in the peace thereof shall ye have peace. We confess all the sins and iniquity of the land of Qatar. Our ancestors laid out and people of Qatar, in the name of Jesus, we confess all the sins and iniquity of the land of Qatar. Our ancestors laid out and people of Qatar, in the name of Jesus, we confess all the sins. And iniquity of the land of Qatar, our ancestors, laid down the people of Qatar in Jesus. Then we pray. So God arise, remember the land of Qatar and redeem it from the party dragon. In the name of Jesus, O God arise, remember the land of Qatar and redeem it from the party dragon. In the name of Jesus, O God arise, remember the land of Qatar and redeem it from the party dragon. In Jesus. Then we pray. So God arise, let your healing power begin to operate upon the land of Qatar. In the name of Jesus, O oh God arise, let your healing power begin to operate upon the land of Qatar. In the name of Jesus, O oh God arise, let your healing power begin to operate upon the land of Qatar. In Jesus, then we pray. Our next session of prayers is prayer for the health workers, both in Qatar. And the rest of the world. Jeremiah 29 1. Jeremiah 29 11. For I know the thoughts that I think towards you. Say the Lord, thought of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end. Say the man humanity of Almighty God by the blood of Jesus who overshadowed the earth workers in the name of Jesus. The man humanity of Almighty God by the blood of Jesus who overshadowed the earth workers in the name of Jesus. The divine humanity of Almighty God, by the blood of Jesus, overshadow the earth workers in Jesus. Never we'll pray. O oh God, arise, give the earth workers physical and spiritual solution to cases of to all medical issues that they are handling. In the name of Jesus, O oh God, arise, give the earth workers physical and spiritual solution to all medical issues that they are handling. In the name of Jesus, O oh God, arise, give the earth workers. Physical and spiritual solution to all medical issues that they are handling in Jesus. Then we pray. Say, blood of Jesus, arise, laminate the body, soul, and spirit of the earth workers in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, arise, laminate the body, soul, and spirit of the earth workers in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, arise, laminate the body, soul, and spirit of the earth workers in Jesus. Then we pray. Our next session of prayers is prayer for MFN Qatar congregation. Say, Spirit of genuine repentance and revival, baptize every member of MFN Qatar in the name of Jesus. Spirit of genuine repentance and revival, 
Baptize every member of every pentatan. In the name of Jesus, say to your new repentance and revival. Baptize every member of every pentatan. In Jesus, now we pray. We come against tragedy and evil cry. In the last of the congregation of the Pentecostal Church, in the name of Jesus, we come against tragedy and evil cry. In the last of the congregation of the Pentecostal Church, in Jesus, now we pray. Spiritual barrier and limitation to success. In the last of the congregation of the Pentecostal Church, break away by fire. In the name of Jesus, we have barrier and limitation to success. In the last of the congregation of the Pentecostal Church, break away by fire. In Jesus, name we pray. Our next session of prayers is prayer for leaders of the Catholic Church. Say anything that hinder the leaders of the Catholic Church from their blessing, give way by fire. In the name of Jesus, anything that hinder the leaders of the Catholic Church from their blessing, give way by fire. In the name of Jesus, anything that hinder the leaders of the Catholic Church from their blessing, give way by fire. In Jesus. Now we pray. Say that forces, I need the blessings of the leaders of the Catholic Church. Release them by fire. In the name of Jesus, that forces, I need the blessings of the leaders of the Catholic Church. Release them by fire. In Jesus. Now we pray. Say my Catholic leaders, hear the word of the Lord. Mount up to high places in Qatar. In the name of Jesus, MFN Qatar leaders, hear the word of the Lord. Mount up to high places in Qatar. In the name of Jesus, MFN Qatar leaders, hear the word of the Lord. Mount up to high places in Qatar. In Jesus, now we pray. Our next session of prayers is prayer for our Father in the Lord, Dr. Amomi Olukoya, and MFN worldwide. So God arise, let your heart consume every satanic agent. And assigned to rub the assignment of Dr. Mami Lukoya and MFM Worldwide. In the name of Jesus, O God arise, let your heart consume them. Every satanic agent and assigned to rub the assignment of Dr. Mami Lukoya and MFM Worldwide. In the name of Jesus, O God arise, let your heart consume them. Every satanic agent and assigned to rub the assignment of Dr. Mami Lukoya and MFM Worldwide. In Jesus, now we pray. Every satanic aggression from the pit of hell and stand against Dr. Amami Lukoya as a result of the administrative assignment backfire in the name of Jesus. Every satanic aggression from the pit of hell and stand against Dr. Amami Lukoya as a result of the administrative assignment backfire in Jesus. Now we pray. Say, Dr. Amami Lukoya, whether the devil is or not, you shall finish well, shall finish strong, shall reach your goal. Shall fulfill destiny. In the name of Jesus, Dr. Amami Olukoya, whether the devil likes or not, you shall finish well, shall finish strong, shall reach your goal, shall fulfill destiny. In the name of Jesus, Dr. Amami Olukoya, whether the devil likes or not, you shall finish well, shall finish strong, shall reach your goal, shall fulfill destiny. In Jesus, now we pray. Our next session of prayers is prayer for the body of Christ. Say, powers. Working to prevent churches from oppression, fall down and die. In the name of Jesus, powers. Working to prevent churches from oppression, fall down and die. In the name of Jesus, powers. Working to prevent churches from oppression, fall down and die. In Jesus, now we pray. Say, power of disunity, working against the body of Christ, die in the name of Jesus. Power of disunity, working against the body of Christ, die in the name of Jesus. Power of disunity, walk against the body of Christ, die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus, now we pray. So God and I unite the body of Christ from common revival in this generation. In the name of Jesus, O God and I unite the body of Christ from common revival in this generation. In Jesus, now we pray. Our next session of prayers is for Eckhart family. O rest your blockage. In Eka churches, divide by fire. In the name of Jesus, who rest your blockage. In Eka churches, divide by fire. In the name of Jesus, who rest your blockage. In Eka churches, divide by fire. In Jesus, now we pray. O oh God, arise. Let the proposal of Eka churches find favor in the sight of the government of Qatar. In the name of Jesus, O oh God, arise. Let the proposal of Eka churches. 
find favor in the sight of the government of Qatar. In the name of Jesus, O God arise, let the proposal of our churches find favor in the sight of the government of Qatar. In Jesus, now we pray. Anointing of our common favor to make a way for our churches before the authority in Qatar. Fall upon the chairman of Eka in the name of Jesus. Anointing of uncommon favor to make a for churches before the authority in Qatar. Fall upon the chairman of Eka in Jesus. Now we pray. Our next session of prayers is prayer for lost souls in Qatar. Say, O God, arise. Save the souls that are captivity in Qatar by your mercy in the name of Jesus. O God, arise. Save the souls that are captivity in Qatar by your mercy. In the name of Jesus, O God, arise, save the souls that are in captivity in Qatar by your mercy. In Jesus, now we pray. Say, O Lord, save the lost among those coming to church and increase your servant that ministers to souls. In the name of Jesus, O Lord, save the lost among those coming to church. Increase your servant that ministers to souls. In Jesus, now we pray. So God, arise. Bring more souls to heavenly kingdom in Qatar and the populace hell. In the name of Jesus, O God, arise. Bring more souls into heavenly kingdom in Qatar and the populace hell. In the name of Jesus, O God, arise. Bring more souls into heavenly kingdom in Qatar and the populace hell. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Father, we put the seal of the blood of Jesus Christ upon these prayers. There shall be speedy performance, and the name of Jesus shall be glorified. Thank you, Holy Father, for in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let's quickly take our in book as we open to in 973. In number 973, it says, Soldiers of Christ arise and put your armor on, strong in the strength which God supplies through his eternal song. Strong in the Lord of hosts and in his mighty power, who in the strength of Jesus trust is more than conquer all. Praise the Lord. Let's sing. So just of Christ arise and put your arm on. Strong in the strength which God supplies through his eternal son. Strong in the Lord of hosts and in his mighty power. Who oh, in the strength of Jesus trust is more than conquer all. Stand and in great man with all his strength and you. And take to arm you for the fight that can be of God. From strength to strength go on, wrestle and fight and pray. Tread on the pass of darkness down and win the well fourth day. Leave no unguarded place, no weakness of the soul. Take every virtue, every grace, and fortify the whole that have been all things done and all your conflict past. Ye may overcome through Christ alone and stand complete. Live no guarded place, no weakness of the soul. Take every virtue, every grace, and fortify the whole. In the love legion, to battle or proceed. But and yourself with all the mind that was in Christ, your head. Amen. Thank you, Father. Right there where you are, we have five prayers to pray. And I want us to pray them from our heart. Before you pray that prayer, sing this song with me loud and clear. I am no Power of my own, I have no power of my own. I confess, I confess to you, Holy Spirit, help me. I have no power of my own. wisdom of my own. I have no wisdom of my own. I have no wisdom of my own. I confess, I confess to your Holy Spirit. 
Help me, I am no wisdom of my own. Come and reign, Jesus, come and reign, hallelujah. Come and reign in my life today, almighty God. Come and reign, Jehovah Jireh. Come and reign, I am the tiger. Come and reign in my life. Today, say this loud and clear. Say, Holy Spirit, comfort me in every area of my life. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, comfort me in every area of my life. In my marriage, in my calling, my ministry, in my business, in my family, comfort me in every area of my life. You are the comforter in Jesus. Now we pray. Say, every plantation of sorrow. In my life, be uprooted by fire. In the name of Jesus, every plantation of sorrow in my life, be uprooted by fire. In the name of Jesus, plantation of sorrow in my life, be uprooted by fire. In Jesus, now we pray. Say, in this narrow way to heaven, Holy Spirit, be my guide. In the name of Jesus, in this narrow way to heaven, Holy Spirit, the comforter. Be my guide, guide me, Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus, in this narrow way to heaven. Guide me, Holy Spirit, in Jesus. Now we pray. Say, Holy Spirit divine, move in my life and make me whole. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit divine, move in my life and make me whole. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit divine, move in my life and make me whole. In Jesus. Now we pray. Lastly, you say this one. Say, I have no power of my own. I confess to you, Holy Spirit, my comforter. Help me. In the name of Jesus, I have no power of my own. I confess to you, Holy Spirit, my comforter. Help me. Help me, Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, I have no power of my own. I confess to you, Holy Spirit. Help me. Help me. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Stretch forth your two hands and let your amen be super dynamic now. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I stand here as a servant. By the power and the blood of Jesus, by the power that established the heavens and the earth, by the covenant power that established mountain of fire and miracles ministry, a place of solution and power, by the anointing of God upon my father and the faith, Dr. D.J. Rudukoya, I decree upon your life, right there where you are joining this program, Beginning from today, the Holy Spirit, the Comforter, shall rest upon your life. In the name of Jesus, 2 Corinthians 1 3 says, Blessed be God, even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercy, and the God of all comfort. I decree, the God of all comfort will comfort you in every department of your life. In the name of Jesus, any area you have been found in wanting, beginning from today, Holy Spirit will mend them for you. In the name of Jesus, it shall be well with you and your entire family. Thank you, Holy Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Let's share the grace together in fellowship. Grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the hearts and friends of God forever and ever. Amen. Seven powerful hallelujah. Let's go. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus covered us with your blood and love. As we go in your name, in your name, mighty God, cover us with your fire and power. Jesus, cover us with your blood and love. As we go in your name, amen. God bless you all. See you next week. By God's grace.